Hello, this is Tofu from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can effectively use renders or Blender's render engines to help your workflow in Blender. Um, usually, uh, when you would want to render out something in Blender, you, you use cycles because that's the best option for you in terms of realism. But sometimes, if you don't have a strong enough computer, rendering out in cycles is going to take quite some time. I'll give an example of what I'm talking about. Now this scene is what I'm working on for an animation I'm doing that should be done pretty soon here. But let me show you what um, I've rendered out in Blender in Cycles. That's not the one. It's kind of lagging a little bit because I'm recording with the screencast so it's, it's trying to... Okay. It's trying to catch up. Let me close that out and navigate to it manually scroll down here the K drive let me see trifold production tutorials oh there it is now uh, that one was an EV but let me go forward to the one that I rendered out in cycles now this is what I rendered out in cycles and this took 2 minutes and 40, 54 seconds to render that out, this out in cycles. Now this is a this is a 10 minute animation or 10 second animation that I've done for this scene which is 250 frames. And if it's taken me 3 minutes to render out 1 frame uh, per animation that's going to take about 8 hours. And if I were wanting to do corrections, if I saw mistakes in this scene and I would have to fix them, I would have to re-render it again, that would take another 8 hours to do. So in order to avoid all that unnecessary stress, the best thing you can do is render this out in EV first, in the viewport. That's the best thing you can do to help yourself. Because once you render it out in EV in the viewport, if you see anything that you need to correct, you can do it a lot faster. And I'll explain that also. Now I'm going to open up that scene again. This took me two, about 3 minutes to render one frame in cycles. Let's go to the next one. This was rendered out in the EV viewport. And it rendered out so fast that Blender couldn't even clock the time. It was rendered out in less than a second. So this frame here was rendered out in less than a second. So it took about 30 minutes to render out a 10 second animation in EV viewport as opposed to 8 hours to render it out in cycles. The same amount of time in terms of the end result. Now in order to render a viewport out in Eevee, make sure that your render engine is in Eevee. And the next thing, hopefully this is not freezing up, but hopefully the next, okay it's not, thank God. The next thing you want to do is go to view and then click on viewport render animation or viewport render, anim or viewport render image or viewport render animation, one of those two. But if you wanted to do the animation part, obviously you go to animation first. And as a, as a, you know, as a point to keep in mind is it all depends on your graphics card. If you have a very, very strong graphics card, then this is going to run out pretty fast. Like for my gra graphics card, I use a GTX 1050 Ti when it first came out. It was kind of strong. It was average strength, but it gave me a pretty fast render. If you have a stronger graphics card than that, like a Titan TX or something like that, it's going to render out even faster. If you have something that is uh, not up to Blender's, Blender's uh, standard of graphics card strength, this is not going to work at all. So make sure that your graphics card is strong enough, average to st strong, in order to render out something in EV in the viewport. So keep that in mind for your workflow as a beginner. Render everything out in, in the EV viewport first. That's going to take a lot less time, so if you need to do any kind of corrections to your scene, you will see them before you have to do the final render. So pre-render in EV, and then do your final render after you have done all your corrections that you've seen that need to be done in, in the EV viewport. Do your final, final render in cycles. So that's today's Blender quick tip. Render out in, in EV first, EV viewport. Remember, don't go up here to render. Don't, don't press render. And render image or render animation because it's going to render out a final uh, EV render or cycles render. You want the viewport render. And if you uh, find out that you want to get rid of those lines and all this stuff, you know, you don't want to see all these little 
outlines of your of your uh, animation or your mesh or all these guidelines from the lights or whatever you have in your scene just click on this button and it eliminates that hopefully it's not going to freeze again because sometimes in blender Eevee it uses a lot of uh, graphics power on your CPU and on your graphics card so you have to be kind of careful with it when you're when you're recording um, as I'm doing but as I said before you can click on this button to eliminate or get rid of all the uh, unnecessary lines in your scene if you want a cleaner looking result in your scene and if you have any gizmos showing up like the move gizmo or the rotate gizmo showing up in your scene you just click on this button and that gets rid of that so as a beginner in blender always render out your rough draft so to speak your pre-renders in the EV viewport and your final renders in cycle and uh, hopefully this was helpful to those who are watching and I want to thank you guys who have subscribed to my channel and have watched this video and thank you guys who are subscribing right now and I'll see you guys on the next one alright adios